guys, it's me, Ben, and I am back. And holy mac, holy mac, holy mac, do I have a review for you today. Today I am reviewing my HE3D K280. This printer right over here. It's a massive Delta printer with a massive print volume. So, let's get started. So I have this printer right over here, and uh, it is a pretty cool printer. Once it's working, it's a good printer. Now I need to start this review off by saying that. This is a good printer when it's working. I might be a little harsh on it, but I'm going to be honest. Just like my, uh, my Da Vinci Jr. Uh, review, this one is going to be honest as well. Uh, whether it be for good or for bad. So uh, yeah, let's get into the details. So I bought this printer from GearBest. I bought it as a kit, so uh, I assembled it. You do have the option to buy it already assembled or as a kit. And I thought to myself, I wanted to learn a bit more about 3D printers. I wanted to know the ins and outs of my 3D printer, unlike the uh, Da Vinci Jr., uh, which is really, I don't want to fit in with this. This one, I really wanted it to be a project, something I could work on. And boy, has it been a project. Once it was assembled, I actually had to replace uh, quite a bit of parts. I had to replace the heating element, the thermocouple. Uh, I actually had to completely strip the extruder that came with it and uh, get a whole new extruder system off of Amazon. Uh, I sunk about $100 to $200 in repairs uh, after actually assembling the 3D printer. So with this printer, um, you know, you are going to spend a bit more money than just the kit to have replacement pieces and stuff because this guy breaks down quite often. So this printer took about three days to assemble. Now, I, I was very much a beginner and still am a beginner, but it took me about, yeah, three days to assemble the kit and it was quite frustrating. They didn't have any instructions. They only had this uh, really, really crummy video uh, on YouTube that showed some parts of the construction. I'll, I'll link to the videos down below. Uh, so you can take a look for yourself, um, but yeah, you really need to know these things if you're going to buy this as a kit. Uh, I saw some comments on GearBest of teachers who bought it as a kit who thought it would be a great printer for, uh, for their students to learn about 3D printing and build it, and it just didn't work. And I've also seen people who have said that their heating bed was dead on arrival. So you need to be really careful with this company. I think I got a pretty pretty decent printer, all things considered, compared to some of the reviews that I had seen. The only real easy thing about assembling this printer is the electronics and uh, plugging in uh, the wires where they need to go. The diagram is all right, but the motherboard that they show you on the di diagram is completely different than the motherboard this printer comes with. Uh, they gave you little heat sinks, uh, and you're supposed to, I guess, figure out where they went. They didn't give you instructions, and they don't say on the diagram. Um, where those uh, heat sinks go. So that was quite confusing. I had to uh, take a picture of the uh, of the circuit board of the motherboard, I believe, and send it to one of my friends who's in the tech industry here in Ottawa. And he gave me a couple uh, suggestions as to where to put the heat sinks, but he still wasn't really, really sure. Uh, so yeah, the instructions that you get for building this, it's they, they are there really. You're, you're really out on your own and you can try deciphering the YouTube videos, but it's extremely difficult. So this printer comes with a pressure sensor uh, for auto leveling. That's something that they advertise. And I have tried the auto leveling and following the instructions on the uh, on the website, and it just, it doesn't work. I haven't been able to figure it out. The instructions they give you online just aren't good. They're terrible. And that's my biggest concern with this printer, is they sell it as a kit, but with no instructions on how to do it. So if you're a beginner, if you don't really know what you're doing, then you may as well have just wasted $450. This printer though did come with a, a couple brass nozzles and I, I thought to myself, okay, well I'll have replacements. It came with, I think a 0.5 millimeter, 0.4 millimeter, 0.3 and 0.2. Um, and the nozzles weren't great either. The nozzles would push the filament out to the side. It would always curve. It wouldn't go down straight. It would always curve to the side, and that would affect the print's quality. So I had to get uh, some steel nozzles. They're only like five bucks off of Amazon, and uh, I haven't had any issues with those. 
However, a steel nozzle is bigger than the brass nozzle, so if I wanted to uh, use the auto-leveling, then I would need to find a way to stick that auto-leveling probe to the nozzle because it fit perfectly on the brass nozzles, but it was made specifically to fit on those nozzles and no other nozzles. So that's another frustration with this printer. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's a bit rough. So after about a month or so, I need to replace the uh, the heating element and the thermocouples because they just, they don't last very long. I don't know if it's the printer that's heating things up or putting too much voltage through. I, I don't know what's going on, but the printer just needs replacement parts all the time. That's really frustrating. You know, I already sunk 450 plus dollars into this printer and then another 100 or 200 more on replacement parts and it keeps on breaking them down. Now it's not to say that this printer isn't a good printer. When it prints, it gives good quality prints. The frustrating part is that it constantly breaks down. It is unreliable. It is probably one of the most unreliable printers I have ever seen. I've watched a plethora of, uh, of YouTube videos and reviews of 3D printers, and this one is just the bottom of the barrel. So if you want to waste some money, then I'd buy this printer. If you want a printer that can give you a large print volume, but you can't really use it because they send you uh, a print bed that's not level. Oh, that's another thing. But wait! The uh, print bed they sent me, the glass print bed, um, isn't level. It has peaks and troughs within the, uh, the glass itself, and it's off by more than like 0.3 millimeters in some spots. It's ridiculous. So if you want to waste your money, I'd buy a printer like this. I'd buy not a Delta. I'm not saying Deltas are uh, a waste of money. I'm saying that the HE3D K280, if you are intending on buying a reliable printer, then you're wasting your money because this is the most unreliable printer I've seen. Um, it can give good quality prints. I've gotten good quality prints and I have some good time lapses from it. But at the end of the day, it's not reliable and it breaks down all the time. So if you want a really shitty printer, then I'd recommend this one. So this printer has been a lot of frustration for me and uh, I really wouldn't recommend you buy it unless you want something that's like an old car that, you know, it's a project that you have to work on uh, and get to know 3D printing. I've learned a lot about 3D printing through this printer, but is it worth it? I guess, but I would have happily, you know, taken a course and paid $300 to learn this instead of buying something like that. So, yeah. That's my honest review of the uh, HE3D K280. I constantly want to scream at this printer because you're tearing me apart. <laughs> it has just taken a part of my soul out of me. It shows that the company really doesn't care about the product that they put out. They don't give you any instructions. They don't give you proper videos. Um, for assembly, so it's really just a disappointment all around. Don't buy the K280. You are wasting your time, you are wasting your money, and this company doesn't give a crap. Overall, this is a very frustrating printer. I feel like uh, I've been had a little bit, and yeah, I'm just not thrilled with it. It's not worth the money, it's not worth the time, and yeah, just save yourself a whole load of trouble. Don't buy this printer. So folks, I'd like to thank you so much for uh, for watching the video. Please make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel for more, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side with some uh, cool new projects.